Well, an invasive insect is destroying crops in nine states, including here in Pennsylvania. So far, dozens of counties have been impacted, and now there's one more added to the quarantine list. Amy Wattis is in Monongahela with more on what this means for us. While minimal, state leaders say there have been some sightings of the spotted lanternfly in the northeastern part of Washington County, which is where we are right now in Monongahela. It's the most recent county to be added to the state's spotted lanternfly quarantine list. It's a bug that's hard to miss with black spots on its wings and red markings when its wings are open. While they might be pretty to look at, state and local leaders say they can wreak a lot of havoc socially, economically, and environmentally. Our hardwoods, our, our timber, our, our grapes, our wine industry, which is finally blossoming, blossoming and getting more and more so. And locally, in March, Pennsylvania's Agriculture Secretary Russell Redding says Washington County was added to the state's spotted lanternfly quarantine list, making it the 45th county in the state added. We don't know why, right, they're attracted to certain areas with such intensity. Uh, in others, there'll be a nuisance, right? But you won't have the, the uh, that severe impact. Leaders say it's important to do your part and combat the spread if you see the bug in your area. You can do that by reporting it to the state's Department of Agriculture or capturing the insect yourself by creating what's called a circle trap. You have a bag. Um, so this funnel here, we're going to put a bag around it and just put your zip tie on there. And there you go. The bag captures the bug, and the key here is to change the bag about every two weeks. Every spotted lantern fly that we kill uh, means there's 30 to 50 fewer the next year. Reporting in Monongahela, Washington County, Amy Wattis, KDK News.